During the German economic miracle in the 50s, Porsche starts with a small racing car and celebrates its successes on racetracks around the world. The Porsche 550 RS Spyder is not only famous for its successes, but regrettably for the most famous accident in automotive history. In 1947, Ferdinand Porsche and his son Ferry built the first car bearing the name of the family, the Porsche Type 356. The 356 develops into a bestseller, also through its racing successes. After the success of the 356 happened, then of course everyone said we should go to the next higher class. And the next higher class was sports cars, and that's where the 550 Spider belonged. Model example for the Spider is the Gluckle Porsche, a self-constructed vehicle from the Frankfurt VW dealer Walter Gluckle. The sports car with a Porsche engine wins the German championship three times. Porsche engineers want to construct the perfect race car, and that's why they build the Spider almost like a wing, ultra lightweight and with low air resistance. In the end, the knee-high body is just a streamlined casing for the engine and chassis. With the construction of the chassis, the developers reach for the part shelf. Front wheel suspension, steering, wheels and brakes are all taken from the Porsche 356. The heart of the Spider is the Fuhrmann engine. The machine has four camshafts and eight spark plugs for four cylinders. The air-cooled Boxer engine produces a respectable 110 horsepower from a displacement of only 1.5 liters. The Carrera Panamericana in Mexico in 1954. Porsche wants to demonstrate the performance capability of the new sports car. What is lacking is money to fund racing. However, Porsche racing director Huschke von Hanstein turns the racetrack into the catwalk. The first race stints of the 550 Spider, also overseas, were funded by Huschke von Hanstein in a very interesting way at the time. Especially the first cars that he sent to America began as a works car, but were then immediately sold as, for example, at the Panamericana, and thus he actually financed the transport and all the costs that occurred with it. But von Hanstein had yet another idea. He painted the front image of two affluent sponsors on a Spider. It is the first official marketing of a racing car. And in the end, the small 550 Spider achieved the effective advertising spots three and four, beaten only by two 12-cylinder Ferraris. And in addition, the Spider easily wins in its class. Well, the myth of the 550 Spider was just that wherever it appeared, it immediately won the first race, whether that was in Europe or in America. Porsche built this coupe attachment for the 24-hour Le Mans race to make the 550 more streamlined. The factory team started the Endurance Classic in France in 1955 with several of these so-called Le Mans coupes. The Porsche factory team on the way to the famous 24-hour Le Mans. The route is driven for the first time here at the start and finish and the famous Dunlop Bow. The Spiders take the lead in their class right from the start. Some works drivers protect themselves from the wind behind the wheel with a trench coat. In 1955, Porsche reaches the hitherto best result at Le Mans. The 550 Spider occupies positions 4, 5, and 6 in the overall classification. The victorious Jaguars and Aston Martins have an engine under the hood which is more than twice the size of the silver flounder from Stuttgart. The many racing successes of Porsche at that time, achieved with the 356, 
and also the 550 flowed down through to the sale of production cars and was actually the best marketing tool that Porsche could actually choose to promote their cars. The Porsche 550 is in the official sales program. The hip flask is immediately the favorite of the rich and famous. For those only well off can afford the Porsche. At that time, it cost almost as much as a Mercedes 300 SL or five VW Beetles in the export version. In 1956, Umberto Maglioli starts at the Targa Floria with the new Porsche 550A, the Italian outclass a competition with a lead of almost 15 minutes, the first overall victory for the Spider in an international race. The 550 Spider was able to win the Targa Florio because with its 72 kilometers in the Madonia in Sicily, the Targa Florio is something like a tailored racetrack for the 550, that even the larger Ferraris, the more powerful Ferraris, had problems to get around. With these very tight corners, the car fits the Targa and Targa fits the car. The Porsche 550 Spider became famous in another tragic way. It's the 30th of September, 1955. 1758. Actor James Dean, along with his mechanic Rolf Witterich, on their way from Los Angeles to Northern California. He has entered into a car race in Salinas near Monterey with his Porsche 550 Spider. James Dean wants to run in the brand new engine of it. The young Hollywood star has a penchant for high horsepower engines, and after the filming of the movie Giant, he exchanged his Porsche Speedster for a 550 Spider, which he calls Little Bastard. Around 1759, Dean hurdles along Highway 41 with Little Bastard. At an intersection, a Ford wants to turn onto the road. The driver doesn't see the flat Porsche in the evening sun. The most famous car accident in history contributes to the myth of the 550 Spider just like its racing success. Curious, James Dean is immortalized by the fatal accident. So the 550 Spyder is a highly sought after car today through its racing successes. When a car like the 550 Spyder has, for example, had a class win at the Targa Florio or Le Mans, of course, a price of more than three million euros can be paid nowadays, it's quite normal. And this is normal for examples with a special racing history. But even 550s without racing history claw now at the million euro mark. The Porsche 550 RS Spider, successful on all the racetracks of the world, an icon amongst German racing cars classics, and an essential building block for the myth of the Porsche brand.